Pat Coleman for D3Football.com, and we're here with Vince Karras, the head coach of Mount Union. His team defeated Heidelberg 44-34. First of all, Coach, uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, big test for you guys uh, in your first season as coach. Yeah, no question. Heidelberg has a great team. That, that was a great Division Three football game, and uh, you know we're, we're happy to get out of here with a win. Um, I wanted to get your take on this because uh, you faced you know, two teams who have really kind of maybe not taken you all the way to the limit to the final minutes of the game, but obviously pressed you guys in the fourth quarter. Uh, talk about how this game was for you guys compared to the win against Franklin back at the beginning of the season. Well, I think, I think both were definitely great games. I think both were similar in that uh, you know, we got a little bit of a lead in the first half and, and uh, uh, you know, Franklin and, and Heidelberg were able to make some plays and, and get back into the game and, and you know, really, really force it into a, you know, a four-quarter game and uh, came, came down to the wire. I thought our, our guys kept their poise you know, and, on offense and defense and uh, you know, we were able to finish. You guys have given a, a lot of running backs uh, some opportunities so far this season, but uh, Mitchell's BJ Mitchell started the last two games in a row, ran for 150 plus yards for you guys today. Is uh, he the guy for now? Well, I think right now, in the last couple games, he's been very productive, and uh, we've been giving him more carries because of the production that he had shown when he when he had opportunities. So you know, we'll continue to evaluate, but uh, you know, we're, we're pleased with his production. It also seemed like there were a lot of times today where uh, Burke had some time to throw and couldn't find anybody open, then pulled the ball down and ran with it. It seems like uh, you guys lack maybe the big play receiver that Mount Union has really been known for over the last five, six, seven, eight years. Well, I mean, you got credit Heidelberg for having good coverage, you know, and sometimes, sometimes everybody's pretty well covered, you know, and uh, uh, that's the that's the real that's the real, you know deal breaker with Kevin is you know, he's got the ability to pull the ball down and still convert first downs and, and, and gain yards for us in the run game on design pass plays so uh, that that was big that was big today it's been big all season for us and defensively you guys were uh, again more than solid it's basically very strong in the first half I know Carcel Brooks ends up with 68 yards but that doesn't really uh, tell the story of uh, what I thought you guys did to him today well, Cartel is a great back, and, and Heidelberg has a, has a great offensive line, and uh, they do a great job with their schemes. And you know, we, we just tried to, to put ourselves in position to you know to try to get as many guys in the box as we could, and, and you know have have the opportunity to react to those run plays. And you know, I, I, honestly, I didn't know that we I didn't I didn't figure on us holding him under 100 yards like that. But uh, you know, he's he's a great back. We was pleased. We were pleased with our run defense today. Uh, this is a season for you guys. Obviously, you had a, a huge amount of turnover on offense, just a couple of starters back. Um, but after the for the big test in week one, you guys had a lot of opportunity to, you know, kind of bring some of those guys along against, you know, some of the bottom echelon teams in the conference. And now you have, you know, after this game, you have a couple of tough games in this conference left. Is it is it pretty fortuitous how the schedule works out for you guys? Well, you know, you can't you can't really control the schedule. It, it is what it is. But uh, you know, we. we I think it, it was good for us to, to to get guys playing time, you know, and, and so we could evaluate them playing in, in varsity football games and and uh, you know the, get them that experience and, and uh, get the, get that under their belt, and that's that's helped bring guys along offensively, you know, on, on the O line and and at some of those skill positions too. So it's, you know, can't control the schedule, but you know, we're, we're, I feel like we're. You know, we've gotten better every week, and uh, you know we're, we're peaking at the right time. Let me ask you one last question. Obviously, there were a, there were some calls today that were interesting. What did the uh, officiating crew say to you about the play in which it looked like uh, Burke tried to throw the ball away and, uh, and avoid uh, uh, and throw an incomplete pass, and they called it a fumble? They said they they, they didn't. No one saw it. They didn't. They didn't see the call. You know the the. Uh, you know the referee was obstructed, you know, by some moving linemen, and Kevin was scrambling, and you know it's, it's, it's that's football. So you know, live with the call, and you know, move on. That's Vince Karras, head coach of the University of Mount Union. His team victorious over Heidelberg on Saturday, 44-34.